The 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, sports guys have some rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-minute drill. Beef, beef, at the end of this, we like to give out a prize pack because we yeah. can. And what will we be giving out today, Well, man? today, Dan, yes. uh, we're celebrating Monday Madness over at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Okay. So right. we'll be hooking the Googans up with lunch for two from Tropical Smoothie. Go check out the uh, Duval Delight Smoothie, oh, that's the lovely. official smoothie of the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, let's. Uh, we talked Jaguars in the last segment. Let's uh, turn our attention to Florida, Georgia. Let's turn our attention to FSU here in the 10-minute drill. Uh, let's start with the uh, Gators and the Dogs. Florida loses to Georgia. Georgia in control in the SEC East now. Um, Florida got beat in every which way, in my opinion. They got beat. They got beat. They got beat. It was a little bit better than last year. They're getting better. Georgia flexed its muscle on them, and unfortunately – or fortunately, depending on who you root for, uh, was able to be victorious. Jake Fromm answered some critics. He was great on a third down. But he has, a, what a tremendous pocket. Uh, Grantham's caught a lot of crap, a lot of abuse uh, for his uh, defense and being 0-4 against the Dogs. Uh, Dan Mullins lost two in a row to uh, Kirby. He's lost three overall. Uh, disappointing performance by Florida. Not their best effort. Uh, what say you? Well, uh, there's a few things that jump out. I mean, the, the the narrative is they didn't stop them on third down. The reality is they couldn't get to them. Yeah. And this is a Florida defense that has built its reputation this year. Now, I think we can say it's a bully. You know, if they're, you're not as good as they are, they're going to beat your ass. Yeah. But if you're better than them, they're going to whimper. And they've had two games where they've had no sacks. Yeah. Those two games, non-coincidentally, Georgia and LSU. Yeah. Two real big boys on yeah. the block. So, yeah. I, I take that from it. And I, I also take, I have given uh, Dan Mullen a, a longer timeline when it comes to recruiting than you have. I know immediately you got pretty yeah. frustrated with him. Yeah. It, they got to get some five-star talent. That uh, screams the need. It demonstrates that. Especially at running back, Dan. Yeah. I think about, we got to have a game. We Florida needs a game-breaking running back. Yeah. They need a Dalvin Cook or a Todd Gurley or a Cam Akers or yeah. a, it, pick a pick a back. They, yeah. You know, I'm tired of it being P. Ryan and, and Pierce and, and Jordan Scarlett, they're nice backs. They're great third backs at Georgia or some of the real contenders. So I, I, that jumps out at me, too. I, I was disappointed in Mullen. I was disappointed, and I'll give you some more examples of why I was disappointed. First off, you get two weeks to prepare. So uh, nothing no, nothing uh, different. What happened to Kadarius Tony? Uh, Kadarius Tony had an unbelievable week of I practice. Did he get hurt? He, 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 he played that first play. He had did he even play, play again? No, I never I saw. Think, him. I wonder if he got re hurt. I don't. I thought can't the same imagine. Thing. But he never came back in. So, and that's okay. Whatever. May, but just a side note: uh, you got a fourth and one on the initial drive. You go empty backfield and like try to complete a. I mean, I, it, it, there, it just, there was also some confusion uh, on defense. You wouldn't expect this time of year. I mean, yeah. the one touchdown play to Cager where Sean Davis was just like literally just oh, doing ring around roses in the middle of the that's field. That's after you just got within within a score. Uh, you have a third and one. Against Georgia, you can't run the ball. You turn, you go about five yards in the backfield, and you hand it off to Damian Pierce when you got an overload to the right side. And I mean, these guys are just standing around, not hitting, and he doesn't make it. You got to punt the ball again. There were just some odd calls. Uh, Georgia Especially with an extra week. Georgia, I, no, no trick plays. Georgia, nothing fan. No. Nothing. Georgia made its uh, uh, adjustments on Pitts. He had the unbelievable first half, yeah, and we never heard from more. him again. Uh, which is fine because then Swain stood out. And uh, uh, I think, too, and I, I, again, Kyle Trask has been great, man. He's done a great job. I just think Mullen's offense, you have to have a quarterback yeah. who can run. Well, there's some of that, but also you have to have a running game that can run. I think I thought yeah. Trask did his job. But he if did. he ever got third and two, yeah. they could not They could never run for a first. Yeah. So you were always. 21 to 33, 255, two, I two touchdowns. I thought he was fine. No I, he, he was he fine. But I'm just enough. telling you, in that offense, you really need a quarterback. Who it's can, a bit of a missed opportunity, too, bit. because this Georgia team, whether it's more chock full of young, this is yeah. nothing like the Georgia team and of I the know, last and, couple and of the years. And co- the coach speak. And by the Agreed? way. Agreed? Yes. This Georgia, yes. nothing like. I mean, this isn't a team that's going to go to the playoff or I don't play for so. a national title. I think Georgia could lose another one, but Georgia's going to the S. Right. Georgia's going to Atlanta. Yeah, where they'll get, you know, promptly, you know, rear-ended by yeah, either LSU I, or Bama. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. I think they'll be competitive. Uh, listen. Uh, I think Kirby too took a little shot at some of his people and fans, and and uh, and because there have been a lot of whispers, and they listen. Don't ever think nobody hears. So Kirby Smart's been hearing all year long how 
Why did you let Fields go? Why did you let Eason go and leave us with this guy? And it's and it annoys him. And he even talked about, you know, going to have lunch with Jake uh, a couple times during the last two weeks. And Fromm went out and, <clears throat> um, you know, did as well as he did. I, by the way, first time in Fromm's history, 30 pass attempts and they got a W. Yeah. And he made a point to tell everybody that right after the game. Well, so I, mean, okay. uh, I think he got a little tired of yeah. it. Well, the victors go the spoils. Sure. You're going to run your mouth there. Absolutely. I, from an from a objective standpoint, though, this yeah. is not the same Georgia machine that has been rolling the, the last two years. The best pass Jake Fromm made was the last pass he made. Yeah. The, the, the one to Ethan. Fit it in. Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Yeah. Because that's a third and seven. Florida can get the course, ball back. I'm with sitting there going, three what, minutes to what go. are you doing, Stewart? What kind of coverage is that? Go get that football. But somehow – it found its way for a 22-yard gain, and that ended Florida's chances at even getting the ball. At that point, you're just hoping Florida could get a chance, maybe, and get the football back. And then Mullen, the other thing, another thing about Mullen, the, the last drive, no, the sense of urgency, none. And he said, well, if you're down two, got to make sure you get one. No, you don't. If you're down too late, you got to make sure you get one fast. Because, because exactly what happened. They only needed one first down. They got it. The game was over. Yeah, it was like they, a seven-minute drive. Oh, bro, it went from like 10 to three. I mean, you can't do that, man. You have got to get down the field. You've got to take a few more shots. You've got to figure out a way to score quickly. Uh, uh, otherwise, it doesn't matter. And in the end, it didn't matter. So Florida uh, falls to seven and two. All is not lost, but you got to pick up the pieces. Go. You want to go ten and two. You want to beat Vandy. Yeah. You could. You got to go win in Missouri. You could. Yeah. And you got to beat FSU. You sh- you could. You should. So you get to ten and two. You get a New Year's Day six bowl. I would suspect, right? Uh, the, the the projections today are the Orange Bowl, right? Against uh, that'd be great. Yeah, it'd be fine. You know, it'd, it'd be the, uh, the 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 projection I saw makes you think the Orange Bowl is what it used to be. Florida who? Florida and noted ACC power. Wake Forest. Oh, if Wake Forest. It's the Riley well. report. It will be doing the Riley report live from <laughs> Miami. Wake Forest gets the Orange Bowl. Well, they're. Does well, would the ACC automatically get one of those? Is that what happens? Probably. And yeah. they're they're they're. I mean, because I could think of they're a lot the only of other, other good. <laughs> well, Notre Dame or. Oh no, I know, yeah. but they have one loss. Everybody else has. Two, you know, you got to wait and see how it pans out. Yeah. Hey, listen. If well, that's the projection if, right now. If you're Florida, maybe you sure. want to wait for Yeah, why not? Take a little 52-20 <laughs> to 20 win. Feel good going to next year. You hear that, Riley? Uh, but anyway, so the dogs uh, uh, now uh, are in the driver's seat in the SEC East. Meantime, in Tallahassee, Ward gets out. Uh, Willie Taggart, uh, you're 86. And the uh, the, the Knowles uh, brass just – they. They did. It's an amazing story. They promoted story. one lie last night. They definitely promoted one they lie. They raised the money? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the money was raised yeah. by outside forces because that's how I heard of it. Yeah. I knew, you know, that there was a ca- – I knew that there was actually money that had already been collected to trying to get to a number. Uh, listen, Bill. Uh, <laughs> right. We can get rid of them, but you're going to have to chip in five. Yeah, we need five, five? Bill. Five, yeah. five Bill? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. right. It's a lot of money. Can we get Bob Stoops? I think we can. Okay. We I'm in. getting Bob. Yeah. yeah. Again, you need to have a plan and – this is the – got to be careful on who's doing the hiring because you cannot afford to miss. By the way, I've asked a bonus poll question, also presented by Lock and Law DUI You're and Criminal all Defense. over the poll today. Oh, yeah, 858-9818, 800 votes. Who do you want to replace Willie Taggart? I did not put in Bob Stoops, but I did put in Mark Stoops, Mike Leach, Mike Norvell, and P.J. Fleck. Uh, the Pirate, the popular choice. I – Hope the Pirate gets a chance. I like him. I don't want him at FSU, to be honest with you. I think he would do fairly well there. Uh, he's an, I, I he's an w- odd bird. If I'm FSU, I do it's, not want Mike Leach. It's a little, no, yeah. I don't. He's an odd bird. Just so. like Tennessee does. You want Mike Leach if you want to be 8-4 and four every year. Like, if you're a lower well, team well, that wants to. I'd like to see what Mike Leach <clears throat> could do with big-time talent. I don't know if he recruit it that way. It's kind of yeah, like he's never know. been in a program. Yeah. Where he's Texas Tech, Washington State. You're not getting no, big I get time it. talent. I get it. So, I mean, he already had the greatest quarterback in history at Washington State. How much did. more can you have? He did have the Minch. Uh, so anyway, uh, 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 but, but it, the the dream candidate is Bob Stoops. It's Bob Stoops, yeah. and I've big been game told Bob. I've been told that Big Game Bob has not shut the door on him like he did the last time around. Well, you know they they this wanted is, Stoops this is the it first time. I know. You know this is like now, he's like there's this Bob. He's Stoops only fifty nine. Is contracted to coach the XFL squad in in Dallas starting in February, but I'm sure he can walk away from that job. I'm sure he can. Yeah, he's fifty nine years old. Uh, you can get him for a while. Now, would Spurrier allow him to coach at this school in the Panhandle? That's the question. The two remain, you know, best friends. Is Spurrier going to allow Bob Stoops <laughs> to take the Seminole job? Well, Bobby. 
I'm not going to be able to talk to you for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about Spurrier now, Spurrier <laughs> will not <laughs> be where – I can't support Bob. Can't put on a FSU visor. No, that's true. You can't do that. Yeah. Uh, SOS. Yeah. We, we allowed the Gamecock thing to a point. Uh, you can't go uh, uh, ever do that. Uh, big game Bob's last year. He was 11 and 2 and 9 and 0. Every year. Yeah. Uh, 11 and 2, 11 and 2, 8 and 5, 11 and 2, 10 and 3, 10 and 3, 12 and 2, 8 and 5, 12 and 2, 11 and 3, 11 and 3. Would you consider Bob Soups to be a great coach? You should. Yeah. Would, would you? Yes. Right. Just for all the game, I get so frustrated yeah. with the fan who, when you lose a game or two, or they just want to fire you yeah. when you're doing good otherwise. Yeah. Now, if you're seven and five and you're losing to Georgia Southern, they yeah. should want to fire you. Yeah. But just to immediately turn on Dan Mullen, it, it's hard for yeah. me sometimes, Dan, to sit in the stands and listen to some of the stupidity <laughs> that comes out of people's mouths around me. Yeah. There are a lot of sports fans, football fans, are they are just stupid. What they say <laughs> about. Yeah. I mean, I'm not kidding. I use yeah. the word because it's uh, completely yeah. accurate. And I listen, I'm no genius, but I'm smarter than stupid. And there's some things said about Mullen, about the course of the game that are just dumb. But I um back to Taggart. Uh-huh. T- 21 games is all he got. Uh it's it, listen, this is kind of real there's a little bit of unprecedentedness in this. Uh I chronicled uh through various articles uh the Four or five guys who were fired after only two years. I think Mujer was fired after two years and they at got, FSU before Bowden. They got their second year. Three of the four were one in 11. This guy's four and five. Yeah, but it's just an ugly four But the five. Miami game, I did not get to see the Miami game. Let me game, ask you this. Anybody, anybody expert, from a power been fired going one in 11? I mean, that's also needs to be. Great teams don't have coaches that go one in 11 ever. Great yeah, programs. It was, it, it, listen, I get it. I FSU's fallen into the have-nots, and they they watched Miami, yeah. and they've seen what happens when you just assume, because of the conference you're in and the state you live, yeah. that no matter you can't do it without Golden or you know or or right Willie Taggart in this case. Yeah. the The other interesting thing I, I saw, and this is this kind of is a, a a a real stain on Taggart's uh, a time there. He didn't sign one quarterback in the two years. Well, they just never – they sloppy. They lost the Howell kid who is going to be a really good player at North Carolina. Looks that was like a it. major, major loss there. Now, why did they lose him? Just Mac Brown Mac came Brown? in and stole him. Yeah. Um, He's from North Carolina, right? I'm sure he was starting to have doubts after watching yeah, a year and then the seeing thing. an OC I, change. I commend and, FSU for striking quick here. Right. And, and I think it, most uh, FSU fan would agree you, with I you. mean, yeah. You're t- Willie, t- this is pretty clear. This is not going back to national prominence. Yeah. That is not where this train is headed. Willie Tiger might get it where, yeah, he has an 11 in one year. Right. But nothing that he has done to this point, not just in Tallahassee, Dan, but the other places that he's been, yeah. indicate that he's suddenly going to prop out three straight number one recruiting classes. Mm-hmm. Look, can't make a habit of losing to your biggest rivals, and he hasn't beat any of them. By the way, if you do go get big game, Bob, uh, you're going to have to call Bill and Fred and Tommy back. Uh, Bill, I know you just gave me five mil. I'm, I'm going to need another 10 here for the well, conference. Well, that's true, too. Because, uh, to, yeah, he'll be expensive. He'll be expensive, and so will his staff. Don't you feel like, Dan, that firing Willie Taggart now, though, indicates there's somebody who's not coaching right now that they want to get to? Well, not coaching or or coaching. Regardless, you better know. You better have a plan. You should already have a short list if you've acted this quickly. and be, be uh, Yeah, I don't think roll. you do it unless there's somebody, a, a big I, – I would be – not surprised. Yes. I'm not saying I would necessarily predict it. Mm-hmm. I would not be surprised if, like, boom, splash higher Wednesday or yeah. by the end of the week. Yeah. Well, if you know he's your guy, go get him. Yeah. And it- but now you can't have that with a coach who's coaching somewhere. So it's P.J. Fleck or Mike Leach right. or, 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 or Hugh well, Freeze or whoever Somebody it is. in the next uh, uh, 24 to 48 hours is going to go get to big game Bob and find out what Absolutely. the deal is. Well, so. And, and – Lucky for us, as sports fans, mm-hmm. because of this whole XFL thing, he's probably going to be more available, right? He's going to have to show up at some point to functions. Right. I'm assuming they're starting to put teams together. They start in February. Yes. So, yeah, yeah we'll are, see. Rosters are already built. Yeah, if I'm an FSU fan, that's who I want uh, way above others. I, I see some I, – I would be afraid of Mike Leach. He just does not seem like the, the steward of a an Alabama, a Clemson. Uh, and understand, that's where FSU has been for 30 years, Dan. Uh-huh. And that's where they want to get back, right? Beef, uh, because I'm 
uh, uh, annoyed and I'm a loser. Thank you. You have 60 seconds to tell everybody the results of the Friday Five Pack. What? Go. What is wrong with you? I can do that tell, when we uh, come back. I can tell. I can tell everyone. Look, Dan went I'll one and four, it sucked. and I went two and three. <laughs> yeah, it so sucked. what are the records? I went two and three. Dan went one and four. Uh, Dan won one game. He yes. won the uh, Carolina Panthers yes. game. Yes. I won the two college games. Hit the minute. degenerate special. I didn't win Carolina. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I did. It's the only Panthers one minus three and a half. Yeah. I thought I won Philly. I didn't have Philly. No, you didn't have Philly. No, you did not take Philly. <laughs> uh, so you both have 27 losses. By virtue of a push, Dan has one more win than you at 22. Jeff at 21. We, we're both minus what? Uh, Dan, you're minus five. Jeff, you're minus six. Ooh, we are. That's okay. I'm all right with it. Suck pills. Left and right. Why would you be all right with it? Because all? I got a lot of a lot of ball left. Caller number three right now, 641-1010. Beef, tell them what they got. Uh, Caller number three right now, 641-1010. Going to go home with lunch for two from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Monday Madness. Stop by Tropical Smoothie Cafe for a Duval Delight Smoothie. Tropical Cafe Smoothie. It's the official smoothie of the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> 